and we are back at the Winter Fancy Food Show Day 2. I'm here with Debbie Mullen. Hi Debbie, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Great, thank you. Tell us about your product. So we are a Vietnamese pour-over coffee company. So we make pour-over Vietnamese kits so that you can make a pour-over anywhere. Um, it's a single serve, um, 100% biodegradable coffee product so that you can enjoy a fresh cup of coffee without any equipment. You studied sustainability in college, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are things that we could all be doing um, that we're not doing? It's basically paying attention to your product from everything along the supply chain. How it was grown in the soil, how it was harvested, how it was processed after, because there's a lot that happens with coffee. You're taking the cherry off the coffee pit, you're roasting the coffee. All these things are opportunities for pesticides or chemicals to be entered into the process. So we have a completely clean process from farm to cup. And what exactly does Copper Cow do in particular to be sustainable? So in addition to the, the um, focus on the coffee bean sourcing, we also use biodegradable filters. So you can see here, they're just little filters that come packaged in these recyclable films, and then they open up over any cup, and then you can just throw them in the compost after. That's great. Tell us a little bit about uh, the flavors that you have. Yes, yeah, so we've got so many great flavors. Here are some beautiful flavors that we've got launching this year. But our best sellers are a lavender-infused latte as well as a churro latte. And so that's a really great format because where there's no chemicals or syrups, again, uh, trying to stay away from those types of processes. And we just have a little sprinkle of lavender or a little sprinkle of cinnamon in the coffee so that it naturally infuses in the brewing process. Um, generations now, uh, the new generations want to know what's in their beverages as well as yes. what's in their food. They're a little bit more savvy now, right? Yes. Do you see that happening? Oh, completely. It's, it's one of our main selling points because we still have no chemicals in the coffee, but then also with our creamers, all shelf-stable creamers on the market have chemicals. Your coffee mate, the powdered coffee that you can get, all has lots of chemicals put in there to make it shelf-stable. Sweetened condensed milk is actually the best shelf-stable creamer on the market because it's just milk and sugar. No preservatives or additives necessary for it to be shelf-stable. Mm -hmm. What are the new uh, flavors that you think you might bring, uh, you know, following all these uh, new trends that people are uh, being a little more um, out there in terms of tasting and experimenting with different flavors? Yeah, I mean, I think that we're loving to incorporate a lot of the California coffee scene. So we're a Vietnamese coffee company in California. So that's why we loved, our first flavor wasn't a vanilla or hazelnut, it was lavender. We're actually coming out with the rosemary coffee to come. And so there's just a lot of fun that we can have that we have half of our business online. So we can kind of see what the consumer responds to. And we, when we have a winner like the churro cinnamon coffee, we're able to introduce it in shows like this to mass market at wholesale. What is uh, next for you guys? Um, we'd love to come up with more products um, around Vietnamese coffee beyond pour over. We love the pour over method. We love that it brings a great all natural way for you to consume the coffee at home. But we'd love to be able to find different ways, maybe like a cold brew or some type of other thing that would be really fun to use Vietnamese coffee with. Well, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank you.